Good evening, everyone. So it is Wednesday. That means it's time for new releases. So we've gotten one box in and we're expecting another box tomorrow. So we'll have some new releases today and we'll have some new releases tomorrow. They kind of spread them out a little bit for us today, this week. Uh, so we got a few of those new things and then we've got some other of the things that we have duplicates for uh, on our back wall here. So you don't have to stare at the back wall and and try to look at things from far away. We're going to have them up close today. So I've got a few things picked out. If you do have anything specific that you would like to see, a certain type of jewelry or color or whatever, let me know. Um, I do have some room in the show to add some pieces in. So if you have a request, let us know and we will get that out for you. All right, let's see. This is the second show of this invoice period. So Sunday's show went on this invoice and now today's show will as well. And then Friday nights. Hi, Marjorie. How are you doing? And how is Danielle? I hope she's feeling a lot better. It was kind of nice weather today, wasn't it? It was nice outside. We were out car shopping for Caitlin, and that is not my favorite thing to do, especially not when it's hot. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Kim. Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, car shopping's kind of crummy no matter when you do it. So I was not super excited about being out and car shopping. We saw a few things that looked good. Saw a lot of nothing. Used cars are hard to find now, and they're expensive. They're more expensive than they used to be. Good. So well, certain used cars, not all used cars. Mm, yeah. There. There's a whole bunch of salvage titles. If you want something that's possibly been wrecked or flooded, or you know, if you're not gonna run a Carfax on it. Um, you may not want that one. But anyway, so let's get down to business. This is our first item of tonight. So I kept one of these for myself. I really like it. This is called Show Stopping Shimmer. It was a special edition of one of our blockbuster necklaces. So we have this necklace all the time, but we do not have it in these colors all the time. And Kim and Sylvia, I don't know if you heard me or if you missed it, but if you have any requests, um, for types of jewelry or colors or whatever, let me know. I have some spots left in my show that I could fill. So this has those iridescent teardrop rhinestones. Love these because they reflect all the colors. So what can you not wear this with? And it's on the chunky silver chain. So they're like oval shaped links in the silver. Yeah, this is really pretty. The earrings are also the teardrops, so you don't even need to upgrade these. These are plenty big enough. You can see that they're the ones I have on. So these do not need to be upgraded unless you just want to. I'm not going to take that away from you if you really want to do it. I have three of these left. So once this one is sold out, that will be it. I will have it in the regular silver with the white rhinestones, but I will not have this multi anymore. So this one is half an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. It's going to sit right here above the bust. So it's going to take up like this area in your chest. So I have mine extended. Let me see. Let's see if I can tell. I think it's most of the way. Yeah, mine is most of the way extended. So you can see how it fits differently on people. And my, my collarbones are right. I don't even know where they are. They're hiding. You'd like one, Sylvia? We'll get that for you. So my collarbones are right here, which means my collar of my shirt is like an inch below my collarbones. So you can kind of see how it fits on me. That is the extended length. So this one is Showstopping Shimmer. Hi, Robin. Showstopping Shimmer in Multi. We have two more of these. This is number one. Hi, Violet. Good to see you. Glad everybody's here. Is it still hot in uh, Florida, Robin? Is it raining today? I usually get the weather report from my sister-in-law, but um, she's been down sick lately, so um, I haven't heard too much from her. I brought back some um, honey tangerines from Florida when we went, I guess it's been two weeks ago now. Mm -hmm. They were so good. Everybody loved the honey tangerines. We got some of the navel oranges too. They're good. They're not quite as sweet as the honey tangerines. And the um, skin was a little thicker on these, which was a little surprising, but they were still good. All right. Can't go to Florida and not get oranges and citrus fruits, right? Hi, Terry. This one is called the Big Leaguer, 
and it is in green. So you can see that pretty green. Um, trying to think what color this is. It's not a bluish green. Very hot with no rain yet. I'm sure it's muggy. There, there are silver crystal cut beads. There are polished metal silver beads. Also some lighter silver and white transparent crystal cut beads in there. So this is what it looks like. The earrings are also those green. It's kind of a bright green. I'd love to call it Kelly green, but it's not Kelly green. It's a brighter green than this. Maybe like a spring green. This is, let me see if I can get it on here straight, the length. So this one's about an inch and a half below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here just below center chest. So it'll be right in here. And we can make extra extensions for these. So if you need extra extension beyond what is on the necklace, for any of these, just let me know and I can do that for you. So this one is called the Big Leaguer. The Big Leaguer in green. And it is number two. Number two. I was going to look and see what color it says that is. But um, oh, there's my color chart. No wonder I can't find it. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. They're calling that a spa green. I don't know. That doesn't necessarily mean much to me, but maybe it means more to you. <laughs> spa green it is. Next up, we have earrings. These are called Meadow Musical in orange. So we have an orange rhinestone right in the center of this airy metal flower. This is a curved flower, so it doesn't sit flat. I don't know if you can see it. It's slightly rounded. This is the length and size. Let me pull that one away so you can see just one of them. So we have two pairs of these. These are Meadow Musical in orange. They are number three. Number four. Number four is a pretty purple one. He likes purple around this house. That's Max's favorite color, so we let him have it. Mine is royal blue. He has the royal purple, so here we go. So we have that royal purple. I don't know if you can see the, the actual color of this. It is that little bit brighter purple. It may look a little darker on your screen. I'm trying to move it so it can kind of catch the light. Yeah. So these are, I guess we're calling those pentagon shapes because they have five sides, but they're irregular pentagon shapes. And then the earrings are those same shapes in the purple rhinestones. It's a little bit of an abstract purple rhinestone necklace. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With a two inch extension, it is gonna sit down here right to the bottom, the bottom of it, sorry, will sit center chest. So right about there. This one is Experimental Edge. Experimental Edge in purple. And it is number four. We have several of those. All right. Next up, we need one more thing to get us to the question. So what are we going to show? Let's see. It's always a question. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you. You enjoying your vacation? We all know that's code for away from the kids, right? Yeah. Vacation. That's that's a mom vacation. All right. This one is in green as well. It's called Petunia Palace in green. So we have those little silver flowers and they have a little green stone right in the center. Kind of an opalescent. Um, what do they call that green? Like a seafoam or a mint? green in the center there. You see that? And then our earrings are those little green rhinestones as well. I love to wear these little ones in my second hole now, now that I've got it open. Um, before I would layer them with the tassels, they also work well for that or with hoops. This one is also about half an inch below this collar, 
Has your house burned down? I have not seen any police reports, so I think we're good. With the two inch extension, it is in the center of the chest. So right about here. This one is Petunia Palace in green and we have three of these. This one's going to be number five. Number five. The rag weeds out though, you could come home and you know, have allergies. That's what we're doing. It's always a toss up. Do we have COVID or do we have allergies? <laughs> this is that type of season. Um, it's been really bad so far. So it's been a lot of dust, even though we've had a lot of rain, we have a lot of dust for some reason. And now um, today I got the alert for the ragweed, high ragweed. So I'm just going to have to stay inside for the rest of my life. I need a hermetically sealed bubble to live in, but I haven't gotten it yet. It's, I think it's on back order. Yeah, yay, right? Just what you were looking forward to coming home. All right. This question has six different answers that the audience gave. So in a survey of 100 people, what did they say for, let's see, we're going to take uh, number five as our winning answer out of six. Name a school subject you don't know much about. So, of course, this is not a personal question. This is what do you think a hundred other people would have said? A school subject you don't know much about. One of those, we learned it and forgot it. You know, went in one ear and out the other type of things. You have a lot of that, right? Math was number one. Physics, biology. They didn't have biology specifically, but they did have science. That was number three. Um, history, math, history actually wasn't on there, but I'm surprised because people don't retain that. Social studies, cars, English was number two. Calculus, calculus wasn't on there. They just put math. So it wasn't specific. Um, so we got math, English, and science. The other three are more elective type of things. Literature, not literature, but that's good too. Most people don't don't use that later in life. And one of these, I find it hard to believe that most people are bad at because, I mean, their survival depends on it later. Typing. Oh, typing's a good one. I actually failed typing and then went on to become a transcriptionist and I can type like 60 words a minute now. So um, not on a typewriter though, on a computer. Writing music. Oh, you're getting closer with the music. Home ec was number four. I, that one shocks me because I'm like, you learn to cook in home ec and then you don't know much about it. Gym, not gym. Two other elective type courses. Probably in high school, they were electives for you. Marching band, not marching band, but that's a good one. Hi, Esley. Art. Art was number five, Terry. Oh, drama was a good one, too. Art was the yeah, art was the winner. Not drama, not band. It's another one that people say, I took it in high school, but I don't remember much or any of it. Not home ec. That was number four. Home ec was number four. How did you not get art? I don't know. Because you remember your art. Foreign language. The other one was a foreign language. So most people, a lot of people took some kind of foreign language in school and they don't keep up with it. So it just, you know, you don't use it, you lose it. So it goes away. Bookkeeping also, that would be true. All right. So we got it. That, that one was art. That was the winning answer. So a lot of things that people are taking in school and then completely forgetting about. That's not nice. You got to keep up with things, though. I know technology has changed so much, especially since I've gone to high school. We had our first computers when I was in about fourth grade in the school, and they were the Apple computers, the uh, 2E and 2GS. And um, when I took computer classes in junior high, we had the... Um, 
the floppy disks and did most things on a DOS-based system, which of course hardly anybody uses now. So everything that I know is has been replaced like 20 times already. And by next year, they'll replace it again. Just like our phones, right? All right, this one is in green. This is called the Top Tenacious. We had the blue version of this on Sunday. So now I'm bringing out this green. This is a nice, I'm going to call it a jade green. It's a little bit lighter than jade, but not a lot. It does have the cloudy striations in it or milky striations. So these are mostly transparent beads with the little streaks in them. And then little clusters of beads, polished silver, pearly in that green color, and then the white crystal type beads to add a little shimmer and sparkle in between. The earrings are the pearly beads in that same green. I have three of this one. This is the length, so hanging just below that collar with the two inch extension. It is still going to be an upper chest necklace, but it will be higher in the upper chest. It'll be above center chest. So right about here. I need to like draw a big Sharpie marker right across the center of her chest so you can see how much above center it is. This one is called the Top Tenacious and it is in green. We have three of these. This one is number six. All right, number seven. Just have one pair of these remaining. They finally came in. They, I went to put them on my order the first time and they removed them from my order somehow. They came off my order. Sometimes they empty my cart and I don't realize it. And I had them in my cart and they emptied it or something and they came off my order. So I'm just finally getting them in. These are called Industrial Illusion in black. So I'm kind of setting them flat sideways so that you can see what those look like. They're like a marquee shaped black metal and then several of them stacked on top of each other. But these are all together, so they're not going to hang separately. This is the length and size. Put my hand up there because you can't see against my hair how far those go down. So these are called Industrial Illusion in black. And I just have one pair left. This one is number seven. Number eight. Number eight, I'm actually gonna show you the earrings first. So I have two of the earrings, and I only have one of the necklace. This one is called Glorified Glitz in brown. Hi, Linda. Glorified Glitz in brown. These are a brown pearly bead, a light brown pearly bead in the center of the rhinestones. Hi, Carol. In the center of a rhinestone, almost like a sunburst or a starburst pattern out from the center. This is the size. So I have two pairs of these. This is called Glorified Glitz. I'm going to hang on to these for just a second because they match this necklace that I got in. I do only have one of the necklace. This one is called Classical Culture in brown. Yes, I am. Classical culture in brown. So we have those brown pearly beads again in a couple different sizes. And then some polished silver beads mixed in there. So it's kind of like a cluster all along that curve of the neckline. The earrings that come with it are single brown pearly beads. This is the length. So it is about three quarters of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down here at center chest. So let me show you these two close together. Or, yeah. Close up together. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's been a long day, people. All right. So this is what that looks like. So I do just have one necklace and I have two of the earrings. So the earrings are going to be number eight. Number eight for the earrings. And then we'll do number nine for that necklace. Number nine for the necklace. Makes it easier just in case somebody doesn't want both. 
And probably everybody would be glad if I stopped hitting my microphone with my, um, my board. All right, next up, we have antique copper earrings. These are a post earring. The post is right dead through the center. It's a daisy. This is called Daisy Dilemma in antique copper. So that darker copper, like an older penny. This is going to be the length and size. So they're about the size of, I'm going to say about the size of a quarter. We have two pairs of these. They are going to be number 10. All right, next question. Move on. <sighs> do, 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 do. Ooh. Yeah, let's not do that question. <laughs> mm. Let's find a good question. Where are the good questions? <laughs> All right. This one has six answers. So six answers. We are going to take... Let's go with number five on this one, too. That's a pretty good one. Name something your child knows about you that you hope they're not telling strangers. Something your child knows about you that you hope they're not telling strangers. Like, pretty much everything. And the kids always tell the most embarrassing things, right? Your size. They didn't have size on there. Gossiping. Now all these could be considered gossiping. Cursing. Your weight was number two. Your age was number one. Of course, those are the two obvious ones, right? Age and weight. Your phone number was number four. Email wasn't on there. Yeah, your weight. I just pray nobody's standing in the bathroom at the same time as I'm on the scale. Yelling, not yelling. How much wine you drink? That was number six. Your drinking habits. Cooking. What you sleep in. Ooh, hopefully they don't know. But you never know. Your password, your marital status. Those were not on there. Two more, though. How much money you make. That was the one, Terry. That was number five. There's one more. Something you hope that kids are not telling everybody, especially strangers. Because this is one you wouldn't want strangers to know. Spouse fights. Having trouble loading the video. That's terrible. Hmm. Could be internet. Is anybody else having trouble with Instagram? Your address. Your address was the other one. So I have kind of a funny story about that, a short story. When Brandon first went to kindergarten, my oldest one, his dad had let him have a little taste of beer off the top of his bottle. You know, like we do with kids. Let him just taste it because kids are curious. And he went to school and told his kindergarten teacher that we let him drink beer at home. And we got called in to be asked about his drinking habits at five years old. So, um, yeah, drinking habits is a real thing. They always tell the most embarrassing things or the things that look bad for you. You know, they never tell the good stuff. Like my mom makes great brownies. It's no, my mom let me drink beer at home when they've had a little sip off the top. That's life as a parent. All right, these are called Prairie Patchwork. They're in orange. So we have an orange embroidered flower. It has a yellow center, a little green leaves. This is on a medium brown leather in a silver frame. This is the length and size. I have two of these. Oh, yes, Linda. <laughs> oh, yes. So I have two of these. These are called Prairie Patchwork in orange. <laughs> Number 11. Danielle's doing better and she said she'd be back soon. Well, I'm glad she's doing better. 
That's nice. You know, so many people are sick right now. A lot of our friends are sick. Quite a few have come down with COVID this past week. This is this new, um, <laughs> your daughter told her kindergartner teacher and the moms that you were pregnant when you weren't. <laughs> Maybe it was wishful thinking. You know, kids always want another sibling. I don't know why. I guess they don't understand how much work that is. And then when they get them, if they get another brother or sister, they're like, I don't want to share with them. Take it back. <laughs> so they don't know what they're asking for. Yeah, a lot of people are getting COVID right now. This, this new um, strain has been really bad. 11 for Linda, please. Um, it's been catching a lot of people. My daughter got it. So everybody in the family was negative except for her. And she's negative now. Do you want to go see what's going on? Okay. All right. This is called Dreamscape Escape in Purple. There's some random screaming going on from the back room. These are, these are lilac colored Curly beads with an iridescent finish on them. And we have polished silver beads in between. The earrings are smaller versions of those purple iridescent beads. This is the length. It's about an inch and a half below that collar. Yeah, there's always random screaming in this house. <laughs> with a two inch extension, it'll be right below center chest. So right about here, Tracy's laughing at us over here, Max. <laughs> you know what it's like. You have Gracie every once in a while. Yeah, but she's on vacation. Random so she's screaming. Gonna now. She's on vacation. <laughs> We're going to laugh at you next week when you're back. All right, this one we have three of. This is called Dreamscape Escape. In purple, it is number 12. She probably she wants to... us to go by her house. Well, she she wanted to make sure it didn't burn down. <laughs> she already asked us if her house burned down yet. Was that wishful thinking, Tracy? Or did you want me to make sure it didn't burn down? Or did you just want me to verify that it did actually burn down? Because I told my kids, you know how they say... How um, they told us recently that, you know, when you have a small fire, you go ahead and put that out in a hurry so it doesn't become a big fire. I'm like, no, no. If it's our house and you see a small fire start, get out of the house, go as far away as you can get it and leave the house to burn. I'm good with that. All right. This necklace is yellow crackle stone in a teardrop shape. So we have that yellow crackle stone in the center and then we have a frame of silver teardrop yeah you're coming in on the tail end of a fun conversation marlo <laughs> sorry it's been very entertaining here today the earrings are the yellow crackle beads as well in a teardrop shape i do have some upgrade earrings available for this if you would like them so i have three of this one it hangs down almost to the bust so sitting at the top of the bust with the two inch extension it's going to be down here over the bust Exactly, Tracy. If it's going to burn, burn it to the ground. Don't, you know, don't leave a mess. Just let it go. It'll be all right. We have insurance. So this is called Here Today, Patagonia Tomorrow in yellow. This one is going to be number 13. And I'm going to hold that there just for a second so that I can show you these upgrade earrings. So if you wanted to upgrade the earrings, I have these really pretty silver ones with a yellow teardrop also hanging off the bottom in that crackle stone. So let me show you these closer up now. These are called Transcendent Trendsetter. And I just realized I have the card upside down, which is also par for the course today. I just have one of these left. So one pair of earrings, the little swirly silver pattern, and the yellow teardrops on the bottom. This is the length and size. So I have three of the necklaces. I do just have one pair of the earrings. So the earrings are number 14. Marla would like number 13, the necklace only. Okay. So now I have two of the necklaces. Two of the necklaces, one of those earrings. So here are the earrings. Let me give you this necklace. 
Mitch likes this because I guess that's the questions faster. There you go. Next up, we have Green again. They're all terrible names, Terry. We like to laugh at them, right? These are a bright lime green rhinestone in the center with a floral filigree around the outside in silver. These are called Flower Shop Sparkle in green. So a nice bright green. We have two of these available. This is the length and size. They are going to be number 15, Flower Shop Sparkle in green. All right, let's ask another question. This is probably gonna be our last question. I've got a few more things. We'll cut it a little bit shorter today. All right, let's do this one. Four answers available. Let's go with number two. Name a way you know someone is cold. A way you know that someone is cold. What are your clues? Their feet. Shaking or shivering was number one. Teeth chattering. Oh, teeth chattering is good. They tell you turning blue, blue lips is number four. Also, that may signal a lack of oxygen, but you know. What else might they have? Goosebumps. Goosebumps was number three. I had to look at the answers and count. It's terrible, isn't it? Goosebumps was number three. What is one other thing that might happen when somebody gets cold? Also can happen if you get overheated or if you get hot. Running in place, getting a sweater or a coat, bundling up in a blanket. I'm going to do all those things. I'm also going to complain about it loudly. <laughs> Wearing a hat. Wearing a hat is good. Rubbing their arms. Teeth chattering. Those are all good. Not the answer we're looking for. Red face. You got it, Terry. Red face. And Tracy got it right there with you. She said flushing. Yeah. That can happen whether you're hot or really cold. It happens to me. Especially with this light skin. You know how it is. As soon as anything is just a slightly bit off, everything goes red. And then when I get really hot, I get purple. <laughs> it's really cute. Also, when I get really sunburned. All right. Next piece. This one is called Desert Mystery. This reminds me a little bit more of our urban pieces, but was made with the women in mind because we have earrings with it. So specifically for a woman. It doesn't mean a man couldn't wear it. He just probably won't want the earrings. This is on a beige or an ivory cord, double cord. We have that tiger's eye type stone in the center that is in that brown and then an abstract shape, kind of upside down teardrop around the outside. The earrings are those same brown stones, but in a round bead on a silver fish hook back. I have two of these. This is the length, so just above center chest. With the two inch extension, it is gonna come down here to right on top of the bust. So this one is Desert Mystery. Desert Mystery. I'm gonna turn it so you can see that nice tiger's eye in there. We have two of these. It is number 16. I was trying to do some of the other colors since we did all the blue and gold the other day. So I'm trying to get some of the other colors in. All right. This one is called Floral Fashion Show. We've already had this in the pink. Still have it in the pink if you want it. Um, pink is the light pink. This is a kind of a, like a cornflower blue or maybe just a little darker than that. So we have little blue rhinestone flowers and then white rhinestone accents all around it, like as leaves. The very pretty design. Very feminine looking and delicate. In that V shape, the earrings 
are the blue teardrops on a silver fish hook back. This is the link. So it is kind of sitting up just a little bit above that collar because I don't have it up by her collarbones. So that would probably be just below her collarbones, like right here. Robin wants one of those. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit still just above center chest. So the bottom of that V is gonna be right here, just above center chest. And Marjorie wants it. So this one is sold out. This is Floral Fashion Show in blue. This is still available online at the Paparazzi Warehouse, so I'm able to get more. So if anybody else does want it, let me know and I will put it in my next order. This one is number 17. Two of those available. And I have an order going in tonight There's because to because it's oh. available on Paparazzi, Max. Okay. Um. I forgot what I was saying. I have to order life of the party tonight. So I will have an order going in. Okay, so Terry would like one on that order. So let's put one on that order. Yep, we can put that in on the life of the party order because I can put regular items with those. I have to order anyway, so we can get it all in. I thought that one was a really pretty one. All right, these are also a green kind of a lime green. We have the hematite stones below it, white rhinestones around the outside of it in a halo. This is the length and size. And it kind of depends on what light you get these in. Sometimes they look a little bit more olive. Sometimes they look a little bit brighter. These are called serving up the sparkle in green. Number 18, we have two of those. Number 19. Make sure I'm getting this the right way around. There we go. This one is called Gracefully Gemstone in green. This is a green moonstone. So it's kind of a square set on point, but then the top part of it has silver. So a little silver cap on top. The earrings are the green moonstone on a silver fish hook back. I have two of these. This is the length, so about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna sit down here about to center chest. So right there. This one is gracefully gemstone in green, number 19. Last but not least is number 20. I reordered this one because it was very popular with you ladies. So I got one more. I actually got two more. One was for an order. So I got one more extra above that. So this is, I think this is tropical flavor. Yes, tropical flavor in yellow. These are espresso brown wooden beads, two strands of them, stretchy with a yellow wooden flower on top. So I have one more of these bracelets now. It is number 20, Tropical Flavor. In yellow is going to be our last piece of the day. Terry, you are our winner for today. So we will put you down on our sheet of free pieces. So you get a free piece and we will be back on Friday with uh, more new things coming in tomorrow. So I have an order coming in tomorrow. As I mentioned, we do uh, order Life of the Party tonight. So if you're interested in any of those Life of the Party items, I need to know before roughly 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time, because I have to put the order in at midnight, like on the dot of midnight. And some of these items might sell out because they're multicolored and usually the multicolors sell out faster. So we need to make sure we get them in that first order if we can. All right. So I promised the girls I would cut this a little bit short tonight because they're excited that they're finally able to get in here with us since we'd had had to keep them away from us because of the COVID. So now we have to play with little girls. 
You all have a great night and I will see you back on Friday. The safe rest of the week.